Hi, FlossTube, welcome back. My name is Tina and I'm a 14 count Ada girl. Everything you will see today is stitched on a 14 count Ada. Welcome if you are new. I hope you find something here that you like and you stay around and stick with us. Today we have 11 wows to show you. And a wow, in case you don't know, is what I call my whips of the week. I have 39 in my rotation and I touch each one of them once a month for a minimum of 100 stitches. So today I have 11 of those. Um, we have a little bit of haul and that's about all we got today. So let's get started, shall we? Last week I was telling you that I was starting on, I was going to start a Haid Heaven and Earth Designs and it's an Amy Stewart design. I printed this out last night. So hopefully you can see it very well. This is a, a stitching shelf by Amy Stewart, and I did get a, a good little start on it. I got 300 stitches put in it. You can see it's a lot of fabric, but this is what we have so far. I have 300 stitches in it. And you can see all the flowers coming out in it. I'm missing about, well, I was missing about seven, seven colors. That's why all these are still blank. I did go to Michael's and get those, so I will be able to fill those in when I work on this again. So. That is Heaven and Earth Designs, Amy Stewart, a stitching shelf. The next thing we have is Autumn at Hawk Run Hollow. This also was a start for me this week. I worked on it for two different days. Uh, therefore, I don't have a stitch count on it. I did the border on this and I started working inside of the first border. Okay, so here we go. Autumn at Hawk Run Hollow, in case you haven't seen it. It's carriage house samplings. And I am in this first border. I just did this first border here, and I've just started right here on the corn cob and the leaf. I don't have that specialty thread for the other half of the leaf yet. Uh, but however, when I get it, then I will finish the other half of that leaf. And this is what I have so far. I do have the entire border done. Pull that up. And this is on the called for fabric. And those are GMC flosses. And that fabric is, because I cannot think of it off the top of my head. Surely I wrote it down somewhere. No, it is not called for fabric. Okay. Um, it's not called for, my bad. Uh, okay, of course the name is not coming to me. And I told y'all what I was doing it on, I think last week. Don't even see the see it on here. Uh, if I think of it, I'll let you know, or I'll put it down in in the description if I don't think of it before then. So that is Autumn at Hopper and Hollow. Next thing I did work on was Liberty's Welcome, one of everyone's favorites. This is done in NPI silks. It is just done on a 14 count uh, ivory Ada. Nothing special about the Ada, just ivory. And this one is one I hope to finish by the end of this year. I need to give it a lot more work. Um, this last week I put in this square over here. There's supposed to be like five little sheep here, but I didn't care for the sheep. So I'm basically copying this square here and putting it over here. So that's what I'm doing with that. And that is done in MPI silks. And hopefully I can get that done this year. So the next thing I have is, uh, this is Snowman 2023 by Primrose Cottage. I do not have the pattern for it. I gave it away to a friend of mine at my LNS where you're all stitching this together. And I use, 
an electronic copy anyway, so I basically take a picture of it. I put it in Good Notes and use it from there, and I just gave her my copy. So it's a very small, small uh, pattern. So this is like the first part of the top of it. This won't take me any time to do, but we are cutting it in quarter sections. So we're gonna be doing it over four weeks um, at my LNS, which is always in Stitches in Noblesville, Indiana. Um, I didn't tell you what that was on. That is on a, it's called Natural. It's on a 14 count Natural. And it's done in DMC flosses as well. The next thing I have, I started His Eye is on the Sparrow by Heartstring Samplery. That fabric is Dubloon. It's on this one as well. I just remembered it. Okay, so Dubloon. I, I used it twice. I bought two yards of it, so, because I thought it was very, very pretty. And uh, this is going to be His Eyes on the Sparrow. It's very, very big. And this is where I have started on it, and I just love how that color is popping off this fabric. It looks so good. That is his eyes on the sparrow. Heart string samplery, the blue. And that is done in DMCs as well. Okay, then on Saturday, I went to my LNS Always in Stitches, which I just told you. Uh, we are, a couple of us are working on this project together. This is Blue Rhapsody by Rosewood Manor. Uh, I didn't care for the blue, so I'm doing mine in two shades of pink. I am probably going to cut off this bottom half. I, I don't think it fits the the pattern personally, so I'm probably gonna do away with it. And I got the letter C done, which was 106 stitches. This is just on a white Ada. And the two DMC flosses I'm using for that, well, are, 962 and 3350 in case you're interested in doing doing this project or doing it in pinks. It does look very well, looks very good in blue as well. There are friends of mine doing it in blue and I just decided to change, change it and do it in pinks, so. And the next thing I have worked on is The Shepherd. And The Shepherd is from the series, the Snowman Collector series. It's number three in the series. Cottage Garden Samplings. It is done on a 14 count ocean air. And I did get the sheep's face in and some more of him, the one that he is holding under his arm. I worked on this um, at my stitch group and it got 102 stitches. It's coming along really nicely. It's looking really good on that blue fabric as well. Okay, next thing we have that I worked on there was Home of the Free by Primrose Cottage Stitches. And this shouldn't really take me any time if I actually spent more than 100 stitches on it. It wouldn't take that long, but I don't. But I am down to brave. I got the whole word brave in. I did 222 stitches on it so I can finish the word this week. So now I just have of the and the house. 
I'm probably not gonna put these little X's at the bottom. I don't see a point in those, so I probably won't put those. And the next thing I worked on was 100 owls. I worked on this for a couple days. I worked on this on Saturday and again on Sunday because those of you who've been watching me know that I'm trying to get a finish on this and I'm getting so close. We now have the, the last big owl done and I've added three more to the bottom or four, three or four to the bottom there. So I'm getting really, really close. So yeah, that should be a finish by the end of the year. This is by Owl Forest Embroidery. It is a free cross stitch on their website. It's owlforest.uk.co, something like that. <laughs> um, I did this on a 14 count Mystic Gray from 123 Stitch. And in case you didn't know, I should have shown this part first. It looks like and I have just done these over here. So I just have these to go and that bottom line. So I will pull this out a couple more times, I'm sure this week, just so I can get some more done on it. And then next thing I worked on was Happy Stitching. This was yesterday. Happy Stitching by Sue Hillis. And this one, I don't think it's gonna take that long once I get this one done. This one is just simply full coverage. And I have all of it done now, except for the white fill-in. I just have to fill in the white. I fixed, I did the rest of it last night. And now I just gotta, you know, zigzag back and through, back and forth through them and get all the white done on it. And that is what, whoops. That is what this one looks like. This is done on a DMC uh, fabric that I just bought at Michael's. It's one of their new dyed fabrics it, or printed fabrics. It's just white on the other side. So as far as I know, they don't give them names. I, I didn't find a name on them and regular DMC flosses for that as well. And I think I said that's a Sue Hillis design. Happy stitching. And the next thing I worked on last night was Follow Your Heart. This is a Silver Creek Sampler design. And it says, follow your heart, but take your stitching with you. This one got 90 stitches in just because I was at a good stopping point at 90. Happy Stitching got 110. And that's where we are. I just did the big A in heart. And this is done on a 14 count Country French Cafe Mocha. And done in the regular DMCs that it was called for. And that is it for the whips of the week. So as for haul, that'll be the next thing we have. And then we will be done here. Um, haul. This was from one, two, three, stitch, of course. Uh, Liberty's Welcome, I need to put this in Liberty's Welcome. Liberty's Welcome needed a few more silks. As I've been stitching along, I noticed these three are getting quite low. So I went ahead and picked up these three and I'll set them right there with Liberty's Welcome. Um, I am really loving buying these cones. I one, two, three stitch and they're $22.95, I think a piece or 99. And this is B5200. I'm buying most of the common colors that I noticed that I use a lot. And number 221. I find that's in a lot of my patterns. So that's what I got there at 
one, two, three. Um, false cone, false cone, silk, silk, silk. Yep, that's all I got. And then, I, like I said, I was at my LNS, always with Stitches in Noblesville, Indiana. And they have this grab bag that you can get. They put uh, patterns in here. Um, I think there's usually five. Five pad, yeah, five cross stitch patterns in here. Um, you'll only see four today because I gave one of them away. It was a Halloween one and I don't stitch Halloween, so therefore I'm missing one. But they were all great. I loved every one of them. Sometimes we, um, we like to trade if we're, um, a, a lot of us get them and like four or five of us got them the other day. And sometimes we're like trading cards, like, oh, I'll trade you this one for that one. And it's, it's a lot of fun. But I liked all of mine, so I kept all of mine. I got this Good, Sh the Good Shepherd Sampler by Annie B's Artful. And this bag is $10. If I didn't say that already, this bag is ten dollars, and that alone retailed for twelve ninety nine. So that in itself paid for itself, right? I got this ABC School Sampler. It's a Manny D Donna. Don't know that I've heard of that one, but I thought that one was really really cute. And then and oh, and that one retailed for fifteen ninety nine. So then I got the American Stitch House, Jessie and Me design. And I love that flag. That flag is probably what I'm gonna do. And that does have classic color works and weak style works in it, which I will probably just uh, convert over to DMC. Uh, and this is a cottage garden sampling story time with Santa. This is so cute. You got Santa in the middle of a town reading a book about magic. Santa's taken off his little hat and stuck it over here on a rooftop. That's really cute. And that retailed for ten ninety nine. And that one was $14.99. So you get a really good deal when you buy these grab bags. And like I said, I only got one that I didn't care for. So that was a really good deal for me. Then I bought a heart string sampler. It says, our hearts are stitched together. And then I got this, a Valentine duo by Sugar Maple Design. It's called Hearts of Love. And the last thing I bought while I was there was this tiny modernist autumn bell pull. And they had this in the shop. If you haven't seen this one, they had this one up in the shop and it was actually stitched by the owner's daughter and it is beautiful. It's just absolutely beautiful. I loved it. And I was like, oh, I need to stitch this. Uh, the only thing I didn't care about it was the, the pink, the pink part of the border. So I might change that to a more folly color, maybe more of a, a red or a burgundy and change out some of these pinks for for a darker, darker autumn color, maybe or even a brown. I don't know, we'll see. So that is all I have to show you guys for today. Um, I would also like to say, if you have not done so, please go get your mammograms. Mammograms are very, very important. They could save your life, they did mine. If um, you need to hear my story, you can go back to uh, video one and um, I talk about it there. Um, I have had a lot of you tell me you've went and got your mammograms and your mammograms came out very well. And I'm so happy for all of you that it, it you got it done and you did it. And 
it's well. I have had one person tell me it came out, came out bad, and I do pray for you. You know who you are, and I hope everything goes well. So, as always, until next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below because I love hearing from you guys. Okay, I do. I, I comment to each and every one, and um, I just love getting to know everybody, and it, you guys are the best. So, until next time, bye-bye.